the largest snake native to North America, right here in Florida. A threatened species due to habitat loss, overcollecting for the pet trade. But worse than that, gassed out of gopher tortoise burrows for the collection of rattlesnake hides. Unfortunately, way too many suffered and died. Indigenous to the far reaches of southeastern United States exists the longest snake that is considered indigenous to North America. I mean, since the Burmese python is just an introduced species. Be sure to subscribe and tap that bell icon. Welcome to the great outdoors. The indigo, jet black in appearance, the texture of its scales glossy, shiny, almost polished looking. The color is almost like you're looking into a shadow, but when the light reflects correctly back at you, you can see every color of the rainbow. The indigo can grow to 9 feet in length. Juveniles grow rapidly on a diet of invertebrates. As it grows, so too does its diet. There isn't much that indigo can't eat. Lizards, birds, mammals, fish, and even other snakes. Yes, the venomous ones. This is a diamondback rattlesnake. The diamondback rattlesnake's venom? The indigo is immune to it. The indigo is still very vulnerable to loss of habitat and human encroachment. They prefer to live in a habitat of upland pine forest dry, sandy environments, ironically the same kind of habitat that gopher tortoises and rattlesnakes live in. That's because there are few species that are as important as the gopher tortoise. They are considered a keystone species. The burrows that the gopher tortoise creates are habitat for 250 different kinds of species. The indigo, as unique and powerful as it is, will lose a key member in its life if we are not aware of the gopher tortoise's importance. Both the indigo and gopher tortoise are protected, and it is very important that we respect their habitat and especially their burrows to ensure that we will have these amazing species for our kids and grandkids to appreciate. No, this is from uh, Costa Rica to oh, okay. like, Belize. Belize, they're probably southeast Mexico. When I was a child, I remember my father finding a yellow rat snake in our birdhouse. He told me about the circle of life, and through time I learned about the balance of our ecosystems. Every day a new adventure, a new creature, shows like the crocodile hunter. It became my goal to catch every species of animal possible. Then YouTube came along and gave me a platform. Now I can share with my subscribers. Thanks for your support. It means a lot to me, the Florida Wildlife Guy.